Hello, my name is Kastutis and today I'll show you how to fix localhost refuse to connect. There are a few common causes for the localhost refuse to connect error. These include the server being blocked by a firewall, running on a wrong port, and your browser needing to be reconfigured. In this video, I will show you how to apply solutions to all of these issues. You can also find an in-depth tutorial article linked in the description. Your computer's firewall monitors and filters your traffic. It's a super important tool to protect your system against threats. Having that in mind, it can sometimes block completely safe connections and cause errors like local host refuse to connect. I will show you how to disable your firewall on Windows. If you're interested in how you can do that on other operating systems, check out the tutorial that's linked in the description. We began by opening your control panel, then navigating to system and security and then clicking on Windows Defender Firewall. From here, we see the option to turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. This leads us to a window where we can disable your firewall for both private and public networks. Keep in mind that leaving your firewall disabled for an extended period of time will make your system vulnerable to threats. There are cases where your computer's DNS cache can cause errors when connecting to certain addresses. To fix that, you would need to flush your DNS. To do so, let's navigate to our start menu and type cmd in the search bar. Once the command prompt is open, enter this command. You can also copy and paste it from the description. That's all it takes to flush your DNS. The default port number for the server is 80. So if you're trying to access your local host by typing it into your address bar, you're actually directed to localhost 80. However, some servers are not configured to use the default port, which will cause you to see the localhost refuse to connect error. Port 80 may also sometimes be in use by another program, which would cause the same error to appear. To fix this, let's start by checking whether port 80 is free. We can do this with the help of a free software called XAMPP, which you can download by following the link in the description. We began by starting XAMPP. From there, let's click on the Netstat button on the right. Here we can see all of the used ports on your computer. Check whether port 80 is free or used by another application. If port 80 is already used by another application, configure your local host server to use another port number, for example port 8080. To do so with XAMPP, you first need to stop Apache from running. Then open up Explorer and navigate to the httpd.conf file. You can see the default path to it on screen. Open the file using your preferred text editor, then find the listen and server name lines. If port 80 is free, just make sure that listen and localhost ports match. If it's taken, change the port to something else, like 8080. After that, save and close the file. Open your XEMPP control panel and restart Apache. Your browser's configuration can also be the culprit of the localhost refuse to connect error. For instance, when you enter an HTTP web address, some browsers automatically redirect you to the HTTPS equivalent. However, if the website doesn't have a valid SSL certificate, you will not be able to connect. Here's how you can reconfigure Google Chrome to avoid that. In your URL bar, enter this address. Find the Delete Domain Security Policy section and enter localhost in the domain field. Afterwards, restart your browser. I really hope that this video helped you solve the issue. If it did, you can let me know by clicking the like button. Leave a comment if there are any other error solutions you would like to see in a future video. Make sure to subscribe so you wouldn't miss it once it comes out. Until then, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.